Hi, it's Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today we're going to be covering the template button inside of Notion and how to use it to create reusable pieces of content that you can use over and over again in your Notion page. So stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps me out. If you want to see more of my videos, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click the bell button. Thank you. I'm back. So now we're going to get started um, in building a template. Uh, so what a template does is Notion has this, uh, this concept of a template button that you can essentially program a button on your page to basically, when you press it, to generate an instance of a pre-populated template. So using this function has two levels to it. One is building the template itself. So there's a building the blocks itself that you want to put into the template, excuse me. And number two, then um, entering that into a template button temp um, configuration and then placing, and then once you've done that, it will be placed on the page you're currently working on. So the first thing I want to do here is I actually want to build a page that will sort of house everything that we're going to do. So today we're going to actually going to build a travel log. Sort of think of it as a, um, a travel tracker for, let's say you take a bunch of different trips, some business, some personal, you want to have one page that sort of captures all that data on a dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, type slash, spell out page to build my new sub page. I will see that here and I'll click it. Let's give it a fancy name like travel log. Okay. Uh, let's come up here. Let's give it an icon because I like icons. Uh, I don't think a guitar quite fits. Let's do maybe an airplane. Oh, but yeah, a travel seat. That's perfect. We'll do that. Airline seat. Let's add a cover. And typically you have the sort of the default cover that it gives you, or you hit this change cover button right here. Click that, you have a gallery of gradients and some handful of pictures that, you know, from museums and NASA. Um, you can upload your own picture. You can link to an image that's on the web or you can use Unsplash, which is sort of a, a, a photo service that Notion has partnered with. I will click that. Um, let's type in travel, see what comes up. We got a lot of good stuff here. Um, Let's do this one. All right, I like that. So let's click off of that. Now, if you want to reposition it, what you can do is you click the reposition button right here and just drag up and it's basically up and down, but I think that's good. I just want to get the top of that fin. That's good. Uh, not that it really matters for the purposes of this demo, but why not? Okay, so now we have um, our travel log uh, page set up. We are going to, um, I actually want to have a sort of a table that has all the trips in it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a page uh, for each trip using a template. So first thing I'm going to do is create the table by typing table with the slash in front of it. It brings up the context menu. I'm going to choose an inline table because I want it to be on this particular page. Give it a name of table view. Actually, that's a bad name. Let's do travel log. Travel info. That's good. Here, I'm going to say this is the trip name. I'm going to leave it as a um, title. Here, I'm going to have some tags. I'll leave that as, as such. Um, files, I'm going to use it as a file type, but I'm going to do it as itinerary, because typically uh, when you book travel, you have an itinerary that's normally sent to you like a PDF file. Um, and then over here, I'm going to put a departure date and change that property type to date. I'm going to add a new column for return date, also making that a date property. And then I'm going to add one more column and this one is going to be a text column and it's going to be the reservation number. 
because every typically when you book a trip, not only do you get itinerary, you also get like a confirmation number or a reservation number. So I'm going to pre-populate this with a couple of trips. Atlanta. We'll create a tag for Atlanta, and we'll say that this trip is a business trip. Then we'll for the itinerary, we'll click here, make sure it's selected to upload. Choose my file. I have an Atlanta itinerary. I will open that. And that attaches it to this record in this table. My departure date, let's say the 27th of March. We'll return on the 29th. And let's make some gobbledygook number as a reservation number. OK, let's do one more trip. Let's do Los Angeles. Now let's say this is a personal trip. Let's attach our itinerary quickly. OK, done that. We'll make this departure in May. Let's say the 15th through the 17th. And we'll give it a different. Um, Um, there we go. Uh, okay, so now we have two trips in our um, table. And what we're actually, I'm actually going to do is I'm going to um, create a linked database of this table, and I'm going to insert it into the template that we're going to build. And I'll show you why in a little bit. So now that we have that, let's go off and build our template. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my template as a page. So I type in page and enter. I'm going to give it a really creative name like trip. And then I'm going to mark it as template. Just that way I know very, very quickly looking at it visually that it's a um, template. Let's give it an icon here of. Um, Let's say a suitcase. Wow. Uh, surprised that didn't come up. Okay, let's just do. Let's do airplane. Learn how to spell. All right, there we go. Um, add our elements in. So the first thing I want to do is actually build. I'm going to actually create a linked database and I'm going to search for that table which you can see here or if I couldn't find it if I knew what it was called I can just start typing it and it will suggest which one I want so I click on that it shows me that it's a linked uh, linked database to the original and I can see these here I'm going to come down here to the next one and type a to do, actually, not a heading. By typing heading and then choosing heading one, I'm going to call this my uh, pre trip planning. Then I'm going to do a to do by typing to do with the slash in front and then selecting it from the blocks. And let's make some basic ones. Uh, confirm meeting dates. Create agenda. If business meet trip. Uh, create schedule. If personal trip, pack close. And then what I could do here is I could have a sub bullet for things like shirts, uh, belt, sleep apnea machine, unfortunately, because I have sleep apnea. 
uh, you get the idea. So, and actually, what I could do is, to, the way you indent when you want to make a sub bullet is tab, and the way you, if you want to go back to the main one, you just hold down shift to hit tab, and that'll pull you back out. And then you could do things like um, find a, you know, schedule babysitter maybe. And it'd be, that's done. Okay. Then maybe I'll have another bulleted list. So I'll do another heading. I'll call this my um, meeting notes. Draw, maybe I'll throw in a nice divider here to give you a little visual um, deflection here. I'll do the same thing over here just to make it look a little better. Um, maybe I can find a nice um, emoji here by doing, and if you're on a Mac, you can hold that control command and space to bring up the emoji menu. And let's do a uh, notebook. And let's do, you know, I'll do the orange one. And do a nice space. And here we go. Um, we can do things like create a, uh, You know what? No, we'll just leave it. We'll just do this. Let's do it as a bulleted list. Um, let's see. Um, customer really excited about product. Just and then this maybe just blah 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 and blah blah blah. Because what's gonna happen is every for these they're gonna be populated. Um, when you create the instance of it. I just want to put some placeholder stuff here. So that way it's all set up. Okay, so now that I have everything I want in, for my template, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to type slash, but this time I'm going to type template. Click the template button. And I get this display right here, um, which you can see. It's a configure template button. You, you have a name, so you can name your button. And I'm going to do create new trip as the name of the button. And then I'm going to come down here, and it gives you a to-do by default. Just hit the backspace once to clear that out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag my template page right into my uh, right into right into the template part of this um, template button configuration tool. I'm going to hit close, and now I have this trip, right, button, as you can see right here. So now all I got to do is click that. It's going to bring me to this page. And I'm going to say, this is, this is my trip to Atlanta, as an example, right? And then one of the cool things you can do here is um, I can actually add a filter. Trip name contains, and I can just say Atlanta as an example. And now, guess what? I only see my Atlanta trip in here, all my reservation data. So I can put it in one table. And then as I create instances of those trips, I can just do simple filters. And now only, so now every time I pull up this page, I only see Atlanta. Uh, as you can see, it pre populates everything that's in my template. So if I wanted to add a couple of things here, I can, but it has the ones I mostly use. So I might have another one like uh, rent, a, um, rent a car, right? As an example, I can add that. I can also take stuff out. So let's say if it was a, this is a business trip, I can just take this personal one out, all right? Of course, I could have done it a little more elegantly by actually do that, but you know, that's what you get. And then I don't want that. So there we go. So, and then here I might have like the meeting customers are really excited, uh, need to coordinate follow up meeting with client. Send customer, send a client updated proposal.
proposal. And there you go. So now when I go back, you'll see I still have my create new trip button, but now I have my page that's my trip to Atlanta. I can do the same thing for LA. I can create another trip by just clicking the button again. This time, this is my trip to, the, to LA, right? And this time I can sort by adding a, simply adding a filter, trip name contains, and actually I can just do LOS. Let's get sensitive. That's right, Hit enter, come down here. And as you can see, now I only see my LA trip. Here, this is a personal trip, so I can actually just delete this whole line. And maybe I'll add another one in and say, go to Disneyland. Is Disneyland the one in California? I think it is. Disney World, I think, is the one in Florida. I always got them wrong. And maybe uh, check out Lakers game. Something like that. Um, and come down here. In this meeting notes, I can actually see, you know, I can either delete it or I can change it to something else. Um, so what I might end up ultimately doing if I was using this and I had and wanted to have um, two different templates, one for business, one for personal, what I could do is actually go back to my travel log page and I can actually, you know, create another, a slightly different template. And instead of having meeting notes, maybe I could have fun activities <laughs> and then use that as my, um, and then I would have create new business trip, create new personal trip. That probably actually be a more effective way of doing it. And they both would pull from the same table um, accordingly. So that's the tutorial. Um, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I do read my comments and I do respond. And again, if you liked this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, please click that subscribe button and the bell button. Thank you.